Hello and welcome back to this podcast. Um, here is a lesson for many people. A mouse looking through a hole in the wall he sees the farmer and his wife open a package. He was terrified to see that it was a mouse trap. He ran to the, the patio to warn everyone. There is a mouse trap at home. The chicken that was cackling and digging says, Excuse me, Mr. Mouse, I understand that it is a big problem for you, but it does not hurt me at all. So, the rodent went to the lamb and he says the same thing. Excuse me, Mr. Mouse, but I don't think I can do more than ask to you in my prayers. The mouse went to the cow and said, But am I in danger? I think not, said the cow. The mouse returned to the house, worried and dejected to face the farmer's mouse trap. That night a great noise was heard, like that of the mouse trap catching its victim. The woman ran to see what she had caught. In the dark, she did not see that the mouse trap caught the tail of a poisonous snake. The speedy snake bit the woman. The farmer immediately took her to the hospital. She came back with a high fever. The farmer, to comfort her, prepared to comfort her prepared a new tray in prior's soup, grabbed the knife and went to sink the main ingredient, the chicken, the main ingredient, the chicken, since the woman did not get better, friends and neighbors went to visit them, the farmer killed the lamb to feed them, the woman did not get better and died. And in the end, the husband sold the coal to the slaughterhouse to cover the funeral expenses. The next time someone tells you about their problem and you think that it doesn't affect you because it's not yours and you don't pay attention to it, think twice. He who doesn't live to serve doesn't serve to live. The world is not going badly because of the wickedness of the bad, but because of the the apathy of the good. So, when someone needs you for their problems, give them your hand or give them a word of encouragement. May you never lack empathy. Remember it very well. Empathy. Okay, now, doesn't anyone see the parallels here? I feel like that little mouse trying to warn anyone who will listen what's going to happen and all I keep hearing is not my circus, not my monkeys, until it is your circus and it's your monkeys. What then? It's a domino effect that, once started, is so hard to stop. It's going to pull in everything and everyone you love and want to keep close to to you. The collective you have given the collective them the power not, not, not over just to governing method but over your job, your personal living arrangement, what is and is not taught to your children, how you dress, how you think, you've given them control of your very person and you've walked into the mousetrap blindly and willingly. Ah, yes. According to some of the comments, some people are obviously not seeing the parallels. The lessons 
from Hitler's time hold no meaning, meaning to them. They came for the gypsy people and I did nothing. They came for the old and I did nothing. They came for the, the informed and I did nothing. They came for the Jewish and I did nothing. Then they came for me. There was nothing I could do. We are engaged. Okay, this is someone who is recalling what uh, Hitler did. Okay. Yes, and those people who did not listen except to the lies will suddenly experience that domino effect. These people are misled and blind but will find out eventually. And it won't be good. I hope the strong will stay strong. I feel for all those strong people in America or anywhere in the world, hopefully they will win out in the end. Now, this is a very interesting and teaching story. Any one of us should pay attention also. The problem doesn't belong to him, her directly. Empathy is necessary. It's more necessary today than it used to be. Okay, this is another one about a mouse. One morning a mouse looked out from his hole in the farmhouse kitchen kitchen wall to discover a freshly laid mouse trap with a fat slab of cheddar as a garnish on the floor. He was no fool. The mouse immediately went to the wise old hound on the porch and asked, The farmer wishes me dead. What shall I do? Huh? The answer was, It doesn't matter to me, yawned the hound sleepily. You have my sympathies, but I am a hound. I am useful. I provide protection for the farmer and his family. You are a free loading mouse. What do you do? Go away and don't bother me with your troubles. This happened. The mouse went to the yard to see the wise old hen and asked, the farmer wishes me dead. What shall I do? It doesn't matter to me, replied the hen haughtily. You have my thoughts and prayers, but I am a hen. I am useful. I provide eggs for the farmer and his family. Now, go away and don't bother me with your troubles. Despite the rejection, the mouse finally went out into the field and found the wise old cow and asked, The farmer wishes me dead. What shall I do? It doesn't matter to me, replied the, the old cow, chewing her cud. I am very sorry for you, but you are just a mouse. I am a cow. I am useful. I provide milk for the farmer and his family. What do you do but sneakily steal the crumbs from what you didn't earn and create trifle strife for the farmer? Go away and don't bother me with your troubles. That night a loud snap woke the farmer's wife who in her haste for forgot to put on her to put on her slippers to attend the inevitable unpleasantness in the dark in the dark kitchen. As she was crossing the, the cold kitchen floor to turn on the light, she felt a sharp sting on her heel. When the farmer's wife turned on the light, she was shocked to discover that the trap had not captured the mouse, but the tail of a small venomous snake which had a attached itself to her heel. Naturally, the farmer's wife grew very ill and was not able to keep up with her 
with all her duties, one of which was to feed the dog, who unfortunately got neglected in all the kerfuffle of doctors and schedules and appointments. It wasn't long before the old hound died in his sleep on the porch. The, the farmer's wife showed little improvement as her fever remained high. The farmer, knowing the remedy to a fever is chicken, his chicken soup took his hatch to the yard and dispatched the wise old hen. Unfortunately, the farmer's wife declined further in health and sadly died. The farmer having very little to money, very little money to pay for the funeral, slaughtered his cow to sell the meat for the finances to hold a proper burial. The little mouse watched all this unfold from his small home in the kitchen wall and as he sipped his chicken soup and nibbled on a fresh roast beef and sugar sandwich the mouse smiled and quietly said to himself don't fuck with me bitch <laughs> okay that's it it's, uh, it's said another way again it may be an ancient story but stands true in its message being delivered i shared this with many humanity humanity is necessary and like chivalry is depleting much like our planet wake up smell the coffee smell the coffee so many need a hand up not a handout as is assumed just my perception so it's a nice story just wondering why the mouse didn't want warn the woman the presence of a dangerous poisonous snake hunting rodents for food at night that must be eliminated first instead of him in their house that's apathetic okay that's it i hope you liked it it's a good story all with teaching and lessons okay one is not bitten by the same snake twice see you another time with another story i'm here from the dear sending warm hi to all the people who uh, lend me their ears and uh, share this story with others and press the like buttons <coughs> thank you